today's technical corner, we're going to be discussing new innovations from Cogsdale, and I'm joined by Neil. So welcome, Neil. Thank you, Jill. Now, new innovations, you know, what are they? Okay. Um, we have the new adjustable universal diamond burnishing tool. So burnishing, let's start from the very beginning. What yep. is burnishing and what are the benefits from burnishing? Okay, well burnishing is a cold working process. So you're effectively pushing the peaks of a machine surface into the valleys and producing a very good surface finish. So surface finishes below anything around about 0.4 RA um, are achievable. So grinding surface finishes effectively. Yep, correct. So you're saving yeah. operations? Yes. Yeah. What other benefits do you get from burnishing now? Okay, well burnishing improves, as I say, surface finish, size, uh, hardness, you get a uh, up to 10% increase in hardness, um, and also fatigue life, so um, up to 300% increase in fatigue life. Wow, 300% in fatigue life? Yes. Now that's a big statement to make. So effectively, your component in its working environment will, will last three times longer? Yep, correct. Big statement. Now, size, you say size, so yeah. basically you're achieving a stable process, but what kind of tolerancing, what kind of material have you got to leave on the component prior to burnishing? Yeah, well, that does depend on the surface finish you've got beforehand, but in general terms, it's around sort of five to 10 micron size change um, because you're pushing peaks into the valleys. So, so the higher the peak, uh, the more your size change, but in general, five to 10 micron. So huge benefits from burn burnishing for the correct applications. Now, yes. you're already well known for burnishing. So we what's are. new about this new innovation? What, what, what innovations are they? Okay, well, this tool is fully adjustable through 180 degrees. So you've got a screw in the middle and that releases your, um, your head. So if you want to do uh, an outside diameter or a large diameter bore, you could set it at, um, at 90 degrees there. If you wanted to do an outside diameter up to a shoulder, you could set it at 45 degrees and come up to the shoulder. If you wanted to do a face, you could set it at zero degrees. And also the good thing about this tool is you've got 180 degrees movement. So you don't need a right or left-handed tool. Um, if, you've, uh, if you've got a, a, a job where, where you need the tool handed, the um, you just adjust it. So fully universal really. Correct. Um, so pri prior to this innovation, you add static burnishing tools for yep. turning, but now you can do many operations all in one. With one tool, yeah. Now, so instead of instead of having, say for example, one tool um, to go up to a shoulder, one tool to do an outside diameter, and one tool to do a bore, um, this will do it all. So, so not only- It lends you, itself really, I'm sorry. So I've got no, Neil. No, it, it lends itself really to, uh, to your subcontractor who may have many different um, applications coming along and never know, really knows what he's getting from one, um, from one day to the next. So, so let me get this straight. You're not only saving or getting a, an immediate investment on the burnishing from yeah. saving operations um, and having to transfer the part from one machine to another, but also now you're, you're giving versatility to your customer to Absolutely. be able to do multi-operations. Now, I noticed that you've got a, a step shank back end here. Yep. Do you do other configurations of back ends? Yeah, we do. Yeah, this is, uh, as, you, as you rightly say, this is the 25 mil um, square shank, uh, but we also do it with a cap toe um, back end. So with a cap toe, you could actually put it on one of our facing heads and do large diameter bores. You can do tapers um, and outside diameters. So even more versatility. Yes. So this has only been recently launched from yourselves. What it kind has. of feedback have you been getting so far? Really, really good feedback. They are, they are selling already um, and um, the tool works. It produces the surface finish that, that you need. As I say, anything below about 0.4 RA surface finish is achievable with that tool. This is a fantastic invention and innovation from yourself. So, you know, how should people get in touch to find out more? Just go on our website, Geo, www.cogstill.co.uk and they can get in touch with us there. Neil, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks, Geo.